I don't know where to start this shit. Seven seconds in, and I already cussed. Um, That's a new rep- record. That's a personal record. That's a PR, if you will. Just like Rumble knocking out to Shara. Yeah. Welcome 13. to podcast number 11. In 13 seconds. Fair warning. This might be a very UFC-oriented podcast because we just got done watching um, the fight. And so this might be kind of uh, oriented along the lines of UFC-ish. It might be. might be. But we decided to have one, another one of these podcasts where we didn't really have a straight agenda or no. stories because I wanted to just kind of, I don't know, you, you suggested it. So I said, okay, I don't, I don't care. Let's do it. Yeah, we just fucking talk about shit. Wow, there's two of them. Let's just fucking talk about shit. You said that? Yeah, I just said that right now. What's wrong with you, man? What's why are you why are you getting all cussified? I got man? a mouth on me. Yeah, you do. It's the girls will tell you. Dang. You're just throwing it out there in the universe so women just are aware. Letting, of, just, just letting, letting you know letting what's up. Know. So just if women you, are like, hey, here's my application. Here's my application. I mean, and by application, I mean DM. Here's my DM <laughs> with possible you, you statistics. Can, you can slide in there if you. You can slide in there. <laughs> if you're between the ages of. 24 you know to like 32 you're like, if you're in between the ages of like like 17 and three quarters <laughs> and <laughs> 27 you slide in those dms right you know if you're ages between 22 and like 32 you know 35 shit 35 what, what, who am i to say who am i to judge you and you wow, make 35? some bad five you kind of at 35 what hey, if man. like what if a prime like cougar came at you and she's like a 45 i into that really no nah. I th- I beg to differ because like you look at Heidi Klum. Is it Heidi Klum? Uh, She's looking pretty good for four fifty five or some shit me. like that. Mm-mm. Really? No. Nah. Who's an older chick? How is Karma Electra now? She's a bad example. But she's looking. She's looking toe up. She's looking toe up from yeah. the flow up. But back in the day when she was thirty five, she looked banging. Yeah. Uh, Karma. I, I had to think for Karma Electra when I was young. For nineties, right? Um. Yes, bef- like like right before or around the time she married Dennis Rodman. <laughs> I had a thing for her. That's funny. Dude, she was hell of attractive. Yeah, she, was, she was a good looking girl. She was really good looking. I, I had a thing for her. I had a poster of her. Which I ever, you remember, do you ever see, well yeah, of course you must have seen those posters that I had in my room when I was young. Yeah, I think I remember. I had it. Carmen Electra. And she was like in some late negligee thing. Yeah, I don't remember. And uh, who else did I have in my wall? I had somebody else. There's one other random hoe. So some girl in like cutoff shorts, right? Which, in hindsight, I would never do if I was living in my parents again. That's so weird. Yeah, it's weird. I'm surprised they let me do that. It's some '90s shit right there for you. That was back in the day when Britney Spears was wearing that that tight latex suit thing. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, her boobs look way bigger than they did when she was little. She grew into them. That's why. Is that what happened? Is that's that what, what happened? happened? Oh, whatever. I think there's about <laughs> 300 cc's in those. That's what is I think. That, is that what it was? I'm taking a guess because I don't know what that means. Yeah. So there you go. If you're between the ages of 23 and 35. Slide in those sli- DMs, right? DM. Oh, and you have to make bad life choices. Have some daddy issues. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm just. I feel, uh, like, that's, I feel like that's what you don't need mm, in your life. Mm. <laughs> you need a moment there, dude? You want a moment I might. there? <laughs> you're like, you must be willing to take hot ropes. <laughs> that's what i'm into just letting you know just letting you know what's up just i don't want forewarning you know just letting you know man you gotta be up yeah, front with people they're gonna be hot they're gonna be scorching Dude, i didn't know there was a uh what you call it figure the guy in the center hit did you not see this episodes the tournament once anyways change the topic um yeah how, how do you uh how do you not know uh about this stuff I don't know what the hot ropes or the bando presto figures. Bando presto figures. I don't. They do post so much, man. I don't. No, no I'm talking about the fact that there's a hit figure. No, I don't know who that is. Hit is the guy in the last tournament. Is that the dude who fought Vegeta and he cheated? He's a dude that almost beat Goku. No, 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 let me rephrase that. He beat Goku. Uh, no, I didn't watch those ones. Super. I just started when they were uh, when I heard Trunks was coming back, and I was like, "This shit fire!" Oh, you gotta go back and watch. And the then old I started. Ones, then I started watching the old ones. I was like, "This shit fire too." Is there a new episode this week? Yeah, finally. Dude, I was so depressed when there wasn't a new episode last week. I was like, I got to see what's going on with my boy Goku. You know what I'm saying? And then I was mad because they didn't really specify if that was 
if that was uh, Black Goku or not. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that one. That's when I hit puberty right there. That moment. Anyways. Um, um, yeah. I was kind of mad they, they didn't really say. That's interesting. I mean... I I hate that because I go on there and I like get excited. I still have like my childish, like my child, like, like, I don't know, flashbacks when I watch those old, those like new episodes of Dragon Ball Z. Cause I'm like, yeah, new Dragon Ball Z. Gotta have new Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. I gotta go back and watch um, GT. No, you don't. I, wait, I just, I need to, I can't give it a fair. It's uh, dog shit. I can't give it a fair review until i watch it just like all these shows i'm watching next like, time next time you go out there pick up your dog shit that's what gt is just like that just like that also warm or hard cold. shout out shout out to my instagram um motivated results where i well, no wait motive results what's my instagram motivated no motivated results, results. Oh, that's right twitter is motive results i don't really get on there but anyways where i post occasional uh, reviews of tv shows that i'm watching so you're going back and watching taking all my you're taking one of my advice. What? So far. You're watching Fringe. Yeah, well, you and other people have recommended it highly. And it is quite a good show. I feel like more is going to unravel as I get along. But it's very like a uh, cop show, like mystery cop show. Mm-hmm. I was expecting more like like magic and shit. But it's it's good. It's good. Uh, it's more science. We'll get into more science stuff later. It's good. It, it does a good job explaining. And you know what's funny? It's like, you know in that SC episode where... They put her in the tank, and then she mm-hmm. could relive. Memories. She goes in the tanks a couple yeah. times. That's actually based on real science. That's yeah. actually based on Thomas McKenna. Yeah, all, Thomas all, this, all most of the stuff on there is real science yeah. stuff. Well, that's the thing about the um, the uh, uh, sensory deprivation tank. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, we should need to go do that shit. Yeah, that yeah. Mo- that's why it's called Fringe because that's the fringe science they do. It's on the fringes. They're not really supposed to be doing it, but we're doing it. But you know, it's based on real shit, right? Yeah, that's the real okay. shit. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so I would want to do that deprivation tank, but I know I need to do it when I've gotten good rest because I don't want to pay like X amount of money to go into a tank where I'm going to fall asleep and just get the best sleep I've ever had. <laughs> it's like, did you have any crazy experiences? I'm like, look, bro, I had the best sleep I've ever had. The only thing that woke me up is I snored and, and snorted water in, but that was about it. That was about, about it. it. Yeah. You claustrophobic? Me? Yeah. I don't think so. Can you get one of those tanks? Probably. Just pitch black. Just pitch black. You don't feel anything. You're just floating, supposedly. Yeah, fine. Rogan raves about those things. He has one in his basement or some shit. I don't know. That's weird. He says he gets high as fuck, and then he goes in those things. Yeah, I'm sure. He's like, yeah, yeah. see this unicorn, I ride it. <clears throat> well, that's what there. um, that's what Terrence McKenna was really into. He used to um, he used to do MDMA or he used to do like a meth, some sort of methamphetamine, and then he used to get in there. And that's when he thought he could um, he thought he that's when he started doing his studies with like dolphins. Mm-hmm. Where he thought he can break the language barrier. Hey, man, I think sometimes science is that weird range between crazy and and, and balance. You gotta find yeah, that, that that thin line. Yeah, that's what fringe is about. It's that fringe shit. It's like, is it questionable? Can we do it? Should we be doing it? Maybe. Who knows? It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if they actually develop any of that stuff. But the show so far though is is quite good. I'm mm-hmm. episode ten in. Into season one, mm-hmm. there's five seasons. There's, there's a boatload of episodes. So it's, it's season roughly, two gets better. It's roughly about a hundred something episodes to finish the series, and it's it's pretty good. Season three, that shit pops off. So. Yeah, that's what I've heard that it gets better as it goes. So we'll see. I'm looking forward to it for sure. So hopefully you to, you're gonna have to remember some of the shit that happens in season two. Well, I'm not even there yet, so it'll be fine. When you get to season two, you're gonna have to remember it for future events. I'll try my hardest. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Or if you don't, then you're not gonna be. You're gonna be like, this made no sense. I'll just ask you. I'm like, what happened here? They're like, oh, that's, that's, I'm like, what? I didn't watch that. Like, what were you doing? Oh, that's why I was cleaning the house while I was watching it. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Probably not. So yeah, that, that, I don't know what I'll watch after that. You keep saying um, um, Boardwalk Empire is good. Boardwalk Empire is good. So maybe I'll watch that next. Boardwalk Empire is really like, oh, that end, that ending of Boardwalk Empire. I almost, you know, what I also want to go back and watch what? is uh, the original '90s Spider-Man. That I, holds I, up perfect. I, I watched... Um, Spider-Verse happened in 90s. Oh, really? Spider-Man. Dude, I watched... I don't know how I came across it on YouTube, but I saw the new Ultimate Spider-Man, mm-hmm. and they just took the original storyline and just made it like a pile of dog shit. Yeah. It's, well, like Some of them's not good. The Spider Island thing, it looks like yeah. they went over it, and then they made a whole bunch of Carnages, Yeah, and Carnages are taking over everything. Yeah, this is a 
And, Some things happened. And, and, and the whole thing was all screwed up. The whole thing was screwed up. Like the 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 symbiotes were made by Doctor Octavius in, in the lab instead of being like from outer yeah, space. No. They jacked up the whole storyline. Yeah. But I like that. you know what I do like about that series. Yeah. I, and by the series, I mean I watched two episodes maybe. Was how they had the Wonder Years kind of thing, where like you know in the Wonder Years, not maybe the Wonder Years, maybe the Wonder Years, where like the guy is something's happening and then he just breaks off and talks to the yeah. camera and he's just like I don't know what's going on with these people, you know, like he has a dialogue with the with the viewer and mm-hmm. then he just goes back into the scene. I kind of like I thought that was kind of cool, some third 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 uh third wall stuff. Mm-hmm. That might be a good one to watch because I I saw a picture of um, Morbius Morbius mm-hmm. the vampire guy yeah. and I don't even remember that dude I remember seeing pictures of him but I don't remember like who he is so I, I almost feel yeah, like going that, back and watching that, that thing is kind of fucked up too Let's see what else is good that time you should watch Sons of Anarchy that's good yeah I hear that, um that show's dark though it's, it's so dark like episode two is dark that seems like a dark good. show then season two is dark. That went for a lot of seasons too, right? Six or seven? I don't know. I almost want to get back into all those other ones that are really popular, like that zombie one. What's that show? Which one? The Walking Dead? Yeah. Don't watch that. That's dog shit. Really? If you watch that, we're not friends. You watch it? What are you talking about? I haven't watched an episode in two seasons. Anyways, that and uh, the one about the guy making meth. I don't watch that. That's dog shit. If it's on AMC, don't watch it. It's dog shit. It's overhyped dog shit. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't Spartacus on AMC? It was on Stars. Oh. Anyways, so we'll see. I got to get through Fringe. That looks like it's going to be a mammoth season. But you know what I started watching, which I haven't finished watching, mm. that still holds up? What? Uh, Space Jam. Still holds up. Except for the, like the cut cutaways of like 1990s basketball and the fact that Jordan is so young. I don't even remember Jordan being that young. He was so young. It's no, insane. No, he was pretty young then. And like there's a cut his way scene of like all these players that got their power stolen. Yeah. And like there are all these players that you barely recognize if you're not like a basketball yeah. fan. And I'm like, is that Charles Barkley? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it is Charles Barkley. But that, 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 that movie is still actually pretty fun to watch. Still a fun time. I did. They were showing it one day and I saw part of it and... Charles Barkley is like, or one of them is like laying down and talking to a psychiatrist. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, yeah. he's like, do you have any problems like performing? And he like gets up and looks at him. He's like, fuck you. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. That one's still pretty funny. And like, it's, it's you know, you don't realize it till you rewatch Looney Tunes that like they have a lot of adult humor. Yeah, they have a lot. Like the bunny girl comes in and then Bugs Bunny just turns hard as a rock and just yeah. like drops to the ground. And I'm like. Oh, I get what you did there. That's a dick joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the I think all Looney Tunes were made for adults, really. So that that's that's still pretty fun. And I rewatched the Matrix movies and and if you can get into the the the, the concept of the world, they're pretty good. The only downside about them is that they the CGI is a little iffy. Like the first one's really good because there's very little CGI. Yeah. And you're like, "Okay, this is good." But then the second and third, they had so much CGI, and you're like, this looks like Gumby Play-Doh that's just being moved around real fast. Yeah, I only watched those because I think I watched the first one. The first one's pretty good. The first one's really good. The second good. one's good, too, and I I think the third one goes a little all over the place. The, the first, second one is good, but you lose me at the moment where he fights those million smiths. He's in the park, and then they just yeah. keep coming out, and they keep coming out, and I'm like, at what point are you like, this is too much? Yeah. Okay, that's that's when it gets a little iffy. The third one, the problem with the third one is that it bumps, it jumps around a lot with a lot of different characters. It's let me put it this way: it's vastly different than the first one as far as directing and the style. Yeah. It's not as dark. It jumps around to different character stories, um, and then you have to really get balls deep in the idea and concept of like computer systems and the way things work and the way things would, would have to function and and the concept that this is like the sixth the spoilers the sixth neo and how things vary every single time and that that city's been taken down and put together like a million times like it's 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 a very deep concept you have to, to think about oh but you, you know what other one you should watch if you like deep concepts 12 monkeys not the movie the movie was dog ass there's a show the show 12 monkeys hmm. was that oh. about it's a great show. Mm. Yeah, to catch up Concepts. on all those stuff. It's about uh, this dude. It's almost the same premise as the show. For those of you who have who are 
the movie. For those of you who have seen the movie, uh, Bruce Willis has to go back in time in the movie and meet up with Brad Pitt, and they stop some disease thing. I don't know. The movie was didn't look like it. They, they had an idea, but it just jumps around too much. So then the series, same concept. This one dude, it's not Bruce Willis. He goes back in time. He meets his girl because he got to stop the plague, so they're going to stop the plague. And he goes back in time to meet this girl who sent him a message directly to him, left to him in the future. So he goes back to meet her, and it's like, well, you're supposed to help me stop this, apparently. And so it's just them trying to stop the plague. And supposedly if they can rewrite the future, it'll it'll change, or re- rewrite the past, it'll change their future. Huh. Interesting. And just crazy concepts that are in it's that. It's just like another future, future... Uh yeah, Another but it, it, yeah, it goes deep though. It's not like uh, on the Flash. Like that's not how. I'm not. I'm pretty sure that's not how time travel works. Yeah, I've been watching some older '90s stuff. It's still fun to watch, but it's hard. It's like it's like if you try to, for example, one that doesn't hold up is like that old Beast War show. That does not oh, hold up. Really? You try to rewatch that, and you're like, "What is this?" Like the references, the jokes, the style. It's it's not good. It's not good. But you know what holds up? But you said you never watched it. it was reboot. Reboot holds up only because of the concepts of computer networking and the way things work. And it's still a fun like concept where like it's computer people and the cubes are actually games are being loaded into like like the kids oh, playing a game and can the cube that. drops and they got to play the game in order to beat it kind of thing. Very interesting. It's, it's still a fun game and the jokes are still kind of they play well. That's weird. You said you don't remember that show Savage Dragon. I don't remember that show. But this, like, eight-foot green dude, he was a cop, and he looked like a dragon. I'm about to Google this. I don't remember and, Savage Dragon. Yeah, and he had the big, like, mohawk thing, like, uh, some some uh, lizards have. And he was banging this, like, little girl. Not a little girl. She was, like, a spinner-looking girl. I don't and remember this cops. show. And they were cops. And he was, just, he was just breaking all kinds of species barriers. No, I don't remember this show at all. Yeah, man. You remember the... Uh, you remember uh, the shark, the shark show? I don't remember watching that. I, oh, remember, I remember the commercial. All I remember is that they would just tear up the street. They for would no just reason. bite stuff. Like they just rip through metal. I'm like, yeah. sharks don't do that. I mean, they could. No, they can't. They break their teeth off. No, I think they could. Like that. Yeah, yeah. He was just going balls deep. In it. You gotta put that on the. I gotta on fucking remember. No, that. you got to find that. Put it on there. You can make me give me too much that, freaking work. That. that particular picture so they know what i'm talking about you're gonna have to you know what you want to freaking add all this fancy stuff i'm gonna have you edit all these videos savage dragon giving that that savage dragon tip savage dragon tip give you me remember, some you savage remember, dragon ropes. Do you remember double dragon yeah the cartoon i don't remember yeah. if that was any good but i used to I like it when so. i was a kid well if you want to see a funny thing you should watch double dragon neon walk through we do <sighs> Dude, you're gonna have me freaking try to link all these and i'm not gonna remember I have to listen to this like six times in order for me to get everything, all the, all the links in. <laughs> you know, other things I was watching this year, well, it wasn't I wasn't watching it, but I was reading it because we were talking about anime earlier because Dragon Ball Super comes out yeah, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it came out, what, Saturday? But they got to dub it. They got to dub it, so we'll it see it tomorrow or illegally. Monday. Probably, I don't know. But the my favorite, one of my favorite animes ended finally in the Naruto manga chapters. No. That ended a while ago. Gundam uh, Wing. Bleach. I never watched Bleach. Oh, man. That was a good show. Another samurai show? More or less. Is uh, Whatever happened to that one, Kenshin? Did that end? Dude, that ended in like 1995. What about it? it was, uh, what you would call it any good? Itchy, itchy. Uh, it was that one guy that had like all the girls that liked him when he had a lightsaber. Oh, Tenshi Muyo? I never understood that. I kind of watched a couple episodes and I was like, that was, I think, my introduction to like harem animes. Yeah, I, I don't want. Where that. like, where like, it's always I, one dude and all the chicks no, like no. him. I, I need complex story. I'm and I'm like, that doesn't that. happen. But if you're into that kind of thing, you guys should check out. You're a pervert. Uh, you should check out um, High School of the Dead. That's pretty good. That was a good one. That's a good one. That's not besides, a harem. One. Besides the tits, it's, it's, that's a good one. There's only one tit scene in that. In that um, one, maybe two. Okay, but. There's a lot of tit in there. No, that one girl has ridiculous tit. But it, it, that's the kind of thing anime. Those animes are like. That's a good one though because it's not about the tits. Yeah. But it's 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 about the zombie thing, and it there's a lot of complex, 
uh, things going on between the characters. Not like 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 sexually, but sometimes sexually. And it's just like complex because this guy likes this girl, but this girl like the other guy. It's quite good. It's actually quite yeah, good. Yeah, no, that's a good one. I remember that one. And then the other one that's like just straight harem softcore is a uh, high school no high school DXD. You show me that. One. That one seemed funny, but it's, I it, don't know if I could stick through that. You have funny. to watch it. Though the the great thing about high school DXD is that it's 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 this weird thing where the guy is that's a straight harem anime where it's like this one dude likes this girl, but like in the end, like all of them like him, right? And of, of course, he's not banging any of them. He's just like you know blue ball the whole time yeah but it's hilarious because there's these scenes where where the sexual tension will be really high and these girls are like really really like they were about to like rip his clothes off and then something happens that just throws them all off and it's like always hilariousness like this was one scene where she's trying to like she has him in his room and she's trying to like get him to take his clothes off and he's like running away from her and he's like no no i'm not i'm okay and then he's about to and like and then she ain't manages i think to take his clothes off and then she just like her head just kind of disappears for a second and then all of a sudden he 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 tilts his head back and his mom is standing right there the whole thing is hilarious the hilarious show no nah, it's hilarious that has like three seasons that's actually quite funny. That's it seems like funny. It's quite know. funny, but that one's got a lot of tetes and a lot of uh, a lot of like anime boobs. But it's quite yeah, funny. No, no I like I like super complex storylines. But man, Bleach <laughs> ended in the chapters. Man, and it sucks. Just like Techno Man did for me, dude. Techno Man is something I watched when I was a little how kid. Did, how did it end? Long story short, after this guy busting his ass. For like I thought years. you were going to say after this dude busted a nut, he walked <laughs> out. His Uber was waiting for him and he dipped. I was like, no, what? No, no. After, this seems like the great ending. No, after like years of like busting his ass and defeating like these bad guys, and then he manages to realize that the bad guys, spoiler alert, are like really his family. He has to kill his whole family in order to save the earth. At the very end, the final battle against his brother, he wins and saves the earth because the brother was going to fucking kill everybody. But in the end, the battle leaves him like... Um, he leaves him like uh, handicapped. He's like mentally like. Um, Jeez. Yeah, it was dark as shit. At the very end, I was just like, I just need to slit my wrist right now. This is so dark. Yeah, that, that's a good ending, dude. At the very, I've never seen an anime like that. Where that's at the end, ending. it's like an epic battle. He gets like beat up and destroyed, and he ends has to kill his brother. It's just like the last one of his family members that got taken over by the aliens, and in the end, he's like he he he. I think he, I don't even remember him even talking. Like, he's just, he's out of it. He's gone. He's like a dude that has, like, PTSD that just sees nothing that, but the that's war. That's a good ending. Dude, that's that is ending. dark. Is, is all, for a kid's show, that is dark. An- anime's ain't for kids. I don't know who told you that lie. They're lying to you. It's dark, man. It's like Kenshin dies at the end. Spoilers. Kenshin dies? Yeah. Because the first time he, they take his girl, then he goes, the second season, he goes to get his girl back, and he kills that dude. And then, depending on what you read or saw, you can get the crappy third story arc, which is him just bullshitting around. But if you get the movie one, you find out that he was, after he beat the bad guy and got his girl back, some war popped off a few years later, and he was going out and fighting war still. Oh, jeez. And then he, I guess... During this time, he got like he'd been in so many battles that yeah, he he couldn't remember how to get back home, so they had to go get him. All his friends went to go back and get him, and each one of his friends, I guess, was fighting the war, so each one like carried him back. But he's still alive, right? He was still well. He stayed alive until he got back to like his wife's house, and then he was like, "Oh, I stayed alive just to see you." And then they kiss, and then he dies. He died in her arms right there. Man, and then she's dark. and then she's crying or whatever, and he has a scar on on his cheek. They got from his first uh, girlfriend because his. I don't have to go deep on you because he got his scar because he killed this one dude. That's what I said. You didn't Because he killed this one dude, and then it turns out that the this girl they put him with because he was a spy, it was that dude that he killed. He actually fell in love with her. And then she found out, and then she tried to kill him, and then he gave her, a, she gave him a scar too, so it made a scar on him. And then at the end, uh, she he's dead, and then his girlfriend's holding him or whatever, or his wife at that time is holding him. And then he picks, she picks him up, and 
Like his scar is gone because he finally forgave himself for all the shit he did. Damn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's deep shit. Mm-hmm. That's all like said in like feudal Japan, right? It's yeah. It's like samurais and shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's badass shit. That seems like a good show. I could have got into that one. Yeah. I think uh, Sister has the books if you want to read it. Books? Guess how you read anime, son, and the manga. Yeah, Just I guess. like I read Bleach, which sucked dick. Ronin Warriors. That's a good anime. I don't remember how that ended. I don't think I sat through it that much. Um, It's a weird one because they made a second season, which was weird. Continuity was messed up. They, they, the second season was weird because, okay, so this, this is going to be full of spoilers. So the armors that they're wearing are, are made out of the evil dude. Mm-hmm. And so in the second season, they tried like arguing that that in order to really kill the evil guy, they had to, like, destroy the armors. And this chick with powers just comes out of nowhere and, like, essentially almost kills them in order to, like, resurrect them with new armors. It's weird. It's it's almost very, like, it's very trippy. It's very symbolic. It's not even a second season. It's like a it's like an OVA where it's, yeah. like, a four or five episodes that... that it's really weird and trippy, but the set, the first OVA is actually quite good because I guess there's like a so when all five armors get together they make the white armor, and there's apparently an, a different version of the white armor that's mm-hmm. just in Africa for some reason, and this guy wears it. It's a black armor. It's the equivalent power. Racist. Yeah, right. And it's a black guy wearing it. And, Racist. Uh, yeah, and uh, and but the problem is that the, all, the, all the two armors just want to fight. It's all they want to do. And so, but if they keep firing, they're going to destroy the planet. I don't know how that ends. I can't remember. But they hmm. must have worked it out. Interesting. But, yeah. But, you know, overall, I'm sure I'll find more stuff to watch. I'm kind of, it's giving me a lot. Now that I'm not editing YouTube videos, I've had a lot more time to just watch TV shows and catch up on stuff I haven't really been able to do. Hmm. So what is another good one? I'm trying to think of short ones that you can knock out if you can find them. Helsing is good. Helsing is super violent. I gotta see if I can. Helsing's really good. You're gonna see me walk around with a few Helsing shirts. Hmm. As soon as I get paid, if I ever get fucking paid. I'm telling you to do dancing bears. Just go do dancing bears. Dancing cactuses. Big stiff cactuses that come to your home and office and just. Dance away. Gyrate. Help you dance your problems away. <laughs> gyrate. You spiky uh, cactus rods on your face. I don't cactus know. rods? Yeah, on your face. Jeez. I yeah. mean, they don't have to be on your face. They could be on your body, I guess. I don't know. Whatever you want them. You're paying the money. <laughs> you're the one tipping, right? You're the one tipping. You're oh, the one geez. tipping for the tip, so. So what else is going on, man? Enough TV show watch. You got like 30 minutes of TV show show stuff. What's going on in your world? What's up? What else you want to talk about? Seems like a general random topic. Yeah, I want to talk about how the UFC is fake. I'm I'm, st- I'm definitely starting to lean there, man. I'm definitely starting it's to like fake. wonder about it. Look, the, the reality is like they were sold to a company that is also owns the WWE and owns and and is I think part of like Globo, which is that that Brazilian. So if we might even start seeing more Brazilian fighters have belts. But it's I think the Globo is one of them, which is the big media company in Brazil. It's fake. Um, I I don't I mean look, man, the, the Nate fight tonight looked a little sketchy. It was. Um, very sketchy. I'll be I'll be a hundred percent straight up. Like I was definitely rooting for Nate, but the reality is like Nate didn't seem like himself. Like all mm-hmm. he was doing was covering up, taking a lot of damage. I can understand the leg issue because Connor was hitting that leg hard, and it's the same thing as Uriah um, Aldo. Like Aldo tore up Uriah's leg. It's a big problem, and I think he knew that was a weakness. But I will also say, based on the first fight, Nate's weekend or weekend weekend weakness was that um, I think overhand left and then the uppercuts and we didn't see Connor do any uppercuts and even when when Nate was covering up those uppercuts would have landed every single time and he did that like yeah. 50% of the fight yeah um and then then yeah Nate was trying to take him down and Rogan was like oh man Connor got some miraculous takedown defense I'm like eh, Nate's not trying to really pick him up I'm surprised he wasn't He's able trying to take to him hug down him. Uh, and I just, I feel like, I, I feel like, I feel like Nate wants to do fights for money now and the real money fight is the third one, yeah. but I'm kind of over this fight already. Like I, I know Connor fans are going to hate this, but I, I've, um, I don't think Connor can beat Nate. Nate, just like, just like 
Cain Velasquez was feared so much, not because he had a crazy power, not because he was like the strongest, biggest guy there, but because his cardio was insane. And what is Nate known for? His fucking cardio. Yeah. So for you to say like that this guy wasn't fighting like normal, he wasn't. And he talked about having an injury, but it's still like, it's a little, a little sketchy for me. Um, it was. And, and I'm kind of really not even interested in watching a third one. Like, no. it, I, don't, I'm not, I don't really give a shit. Um, I need. I want to see Connor hit back down to 145 and finally defend that belt after like over a year. Well, apparently they already have it pre-planned that they're going to fight at 155. Well, I don't think Dana supposedly said already that Connor has got to go back down and fight that for that belt. Mm, okay. Um, I don't know if he'll make him do it, but the reality is that he needs to because at this point, you know, I get it. Connor doesn't want to cut weight, and I understand because cutting weight must suck because he looks like he cuts a lot of weight, mm-hmm. especially if he's weighing at – I think he weighed in the time at like 168, I think. Yeah. So he still has to cut like a good 25 pounds, I think, in order for him to make that weight for the belt def- defense. And he needs to do it. Like at this point, if he's not going to do it, he needs to vacate the belt. And I think uh, Dana said that. If he doesn't fight for that, he needs to vacate the belt. So. The real question is, do you think CM Punk's going to win? That's that's my big question. You and I talked about this before. If if the UFC is legitimate and it's still like it's not fake, people aren't like staging fights. I understand when they stage fights between the fighters, like if the fighters in the back seat or in the back of the, the the arena and say, "All right, dude, I'm gonna take a dive this time, and next time we'll go back at it." I get that. But if the UFC is, or the new owners are planning shit, that's a little sketchy. If they're planning shit, though, I think CM Punk will continue because they've invested so much money in him so far. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they will have him win. If I just don't see how he would win this, man. The guy that he's fighting might not be like a big name in the UFC, but he's already fought once in the UFC, and he finished the guy with pretty dominant performance in the first round. And all of his, I think his record is like 3-0, yeah. and all of them have been like on knockouts or, or whatever. So I don't see how he can pick up everything. It's like me starting MMA right now. Like, in fact... It'd probably be easier for me because I got quite a few years younger than he is. But he's nearly 40 starting MMA. Like, and not not like, oh, he's got a wrestling background. Not like he's got a jiu-jitsu or Muay Thai background or whatever. He's got no background. He's got wrestling. Yeah, he did that. And he does have some jiu-jitsu stuff. But it's not It's not like, oh, he's done like full-on. So he's like a second stripe white belt? Something like that, yeah. It's not, it's not super I just, technical stuff. Look, man, I just don't know how you're going to be the guy who's trained most of his young life for a sport like this. This is such a dynamic sport. And there's nothing against what's his name. I don't know him from the guy that Cerrone fought today. But at the same time, I just I don't I don't see how you would win. It's fake, man. It's fake. I called it all the way back when Kane, Kane lost. miraculously lost against that goofy motherfucker. Fuck, I got a mouth on me today. Yeah, man. What happened? The roles have reversed. You are now the, the potty mouth of the podcast. We need a chick so she could just talk and bitch you the whole time about how she doesn't care about UFC. Yeah. Um, do that. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. It just depends on whether or not the UFC is is fake or not. And I, I you've said it since then, and I, I'm... I'm starting to lean a little bit into it, only because I've seen the Nate thing, and that was a little weird, and and uh, this Connor thing just doesn't make sense to me, man. I play the variables in my head; and it just does not make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. But it does not make sense. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm very, I'm, I'm kind of excited though for the Henderson uh, Bisming fight. I want to see. Well, it's fake, so Henderson's gonna win. No, if it's fake, you don't want Henderson to win. If yeah, it's dude. fake, no. If it's fake, you want you want Bisping to win because mm-hmm. because yeah. Why, what's the benefit of Henderson winning? Just that you get this old ass dude who came back from like the bottom. From he was right. What? Why like do you 14? care? Why do you care? People care. No, you. As a businessman, you're not going to give a shit. If the guy's going to retire after that, you don't care because by then the tickets have been sold and the the event is over. If the guy retires, there's no payout in that. The payout is making Biz being a legitimate contender at that point by knocking him out again that fight back. If the guy, if, if Henderson loses or wins, it doesn't matter if he's going to retire. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter because the tickets have already been sold. People have already bought the tickets. It doesn't matter how legitimate the guy is. It doesn't matter how, how great his thing is. He's probably going to be in the Hall of Fame 
for the UFC Hall of Fame, but that doesn't affect anything. It doesn't it doesn't sell more tickets. It doesn't make them more money. Unless he's like, well, now that I have the title, I might take a couple more defenses, bring on Rockhold and bring, you know what I mean? Then, then maybe. But I don't, I don't think Henderson's got it in him, man. Yeah. I saw him at the press conference and he, he did not look good. Is he looking a little torn up? Looking he's, a little old? He's looking like the age has crept up to him. You know what he's going to do? You know what he's going to do? What's he going to do? He's going to go home. He's going to marinate his old mushroom tip in that hot ass girl he has. And he's going to be rejuvenated. <laughs> He's gonna come back like, like uh, what's that movie where that chick was like old and then she gets like rejuvenated after she gets in the water? Anyways, that's a movie. Yeah, yeah, it's uh that one hot chick. Was that ch- hot chick from Prometheus? The blonde. Oh, 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 Charlie Stern. Oh, that girl's banging. Like she's, and not just like she's hot. Like she's such a good actress. Like, like every time I see her and everything, I'm like, man, you're a bad bitch as an actress. Not disrespectful, like bitch, like a, like man, you are an impressive level of actress like everything she's in she's i believe really her in yeah she's really good and prometheus i was like man i fucking hate you and then what else has she been on uh she was uh on uh that mad max movie which i found no interest in she was good in the mad max movie i mean she commits shaved her head she's she's bad she's a bad actress i mean as in like a badass actress she's damn good actress yeah man That's i'm trying what... to think of who else is that level of good they Can always give it to, not top female wise. Oh, female wise. Like they always give it to that. I hate to be disrespectful. I'm not trying to be, but that older lady. They always give her the Golden Globes. What's her name? Helen Mirren. Yeah, maybe. Very close. I'm like, I don't, I don't. How gay was I right there? Very. I know two old. I'm about ladies. to keep my dick a little bit further away from you now. <laughs> I spiked your drink. <laughs> you you cause me. me? Yeah, I cause me. You you don't mind later. Um. Yeah, I can't think of any other actress where I'm like, man, you're real good. Like those, I I always find like method actors really impressive. Like like a Christian Bale, like dude. I don't know if I could do what Christian Bale did for the Machinists. No, getting that, that crazy dude's, insane, dude's like insane. like or Jared Leto with the with the Joker, Joker. or Heath Ledger with not the that, Joker. Not that we will see any of Jared Leto's Joker. I haven't seen soon. any of that stuff. I feel bad because I think DC. Is fucking up, and and this is my only point, and the only thing I'll make on the universe. I can't remember who it was. It could have been Zack Snyder, or it could have been somebody else. But I think I talked to you about this before, where the, it was a director for one of these movies that maybe it was a Suicide movie, Suicide Squad, where he made David a comp- Ayer. maybe he said something along the lines of like you can't judge art or you can't judge our art or whatever. And I'm kind of like thinking to myself, I'm like, I, I quite a, well. First of all, that's the purpose of Twitter. And like social media is to judge your your art, just like Yelp is to judge companies and, and their yeah. problems. Just like when I'm on Pornhub and I give the video a thumbs Three, down. <laughs> <laughs> but the reality for me is more like I as a viewer, as I, I as a consumer of this media, don't go to watch the movie because I want to see Zack Snyder or what was the other guy's name? David Ayer. David Ayer is David Ayer's product. I don't I don't go to these movies for their product i go to the movies because they're they're putting something that i i liked as a child or liked as an adult and they're translating it into the big screen i like it because i like that piece and that form of art not because i like their interpretation of that art if they want to be commended and if they want to earn a pat on the back for their art they need to create art not take somebody else's art and then run it through a dog shit machine and then put it on the screen. That's not what I want. I, I'm definitely going to judge you for that. Like I've said it time and time again. If you, if DC wants to make money, okay, all of you need to tag DC on this, on 39 minutes and eight seconds of this podcast. If DC wants to make money and they want to turn this around, they need to just erase the whole MCU or at least Fire Batman, Ben Affleck, put Superman on the side, put Wonder Woman on the side, put Cal Drogo on the side, have him lift some more weights. And then you need to remake Batman, the Phantasm movie. Or if you really want to make the MCU or the uh, the DCU and you want to throw in the Justice League, remake World's Finest. Yeah, but, that's what but it should have been. Don't do this shit where you're trying to translate something on the screen. No. Do it like scene by scene or close to that based on the cartoon because that cartoon is quite possibly the best Batman and Superman movie ever, 
ever. Yeah. I don't care what other dark shit you put on the screen. That's probably quite quite frankly the best Batman and Superman iteration, the best introduction of each other, each of those characters to each other in in any sort of vision or um visual platform. And so you need to translate that to earn back the people that you've lost with the about 8 years with the dog shit movies you've put out. And then you could start working the other stuff in. But the reality is that people aren't going to go see these movies because they want to see your interpretation of what you think was good about those movies. No, we want to see these movies because we like the original art. It's like it's like I don't know a better analogy than this. It's like being mad at a rapper because he takes a sample and then and then that's a bad example too. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's it's not it, of course you have every right to be mad because first of all you're not doing the original art justice. Yeah. So no. that's that's the only thing I have to say. I can't and will judge your art because you're not good at creating art. You're 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 in fact bad at regurgitating somebody else's art. Yeah, no, it's like when you did book reports in in uh, grade school and shit. It's like, hey, read this book and then tell me what happened in the book. Okay, so if I read Dark Knight Returns and then I did Dawn of Justice, they would give me an F on that because it's not the same. It's, it's not ve- the same. It's very little the same. And I nah, understand you got to change things because you can't have like a... F- 15 page or 15 book comic into a movie yeah. i get it but when you're changing things and 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 combining like the old batman from one and the and then you have like a younger superman and you got a wonder woman and and everything's just different versions of different universes because you were hoping that one of these was really popular so they brought the rest of the people back like it just it's not it's not conducive to a good universe and that's kind of why they're not doing so good. Yeah. I mean, granted, some people are saying, Suicide Squad made a bunch of money. So did Batman vs. Superman. I thought they yeah. were losing money. Well, Batman vs. Superman did lose a bunch of money. Well, I think it, it won and, it back in the global. But I'll tell you, man, I didn't. I will never rewatch it. And I don't know why. I should just slap you right now for watching that piece of shit three times. But that movie was like I directed. Not I directed it. Like I edited that movie. Like the 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 cuts the, the the way the 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 filmmaking was done the jump cuts from one character it, it to the like other it was like one of your videos which you can which you can go check which I can go check below. out the links down below I will uh, have a formal playlist of the things you'll enjoy from my channels but the reality is like it it just it was too jumpy for a, a two hour movie and quite frankly by the end of it you didn't really root for any one character like I didn't give a shit if Batman or Superman won. And in the end, when Superman died, I was like, all right, whatever. That's just the name of the game, I guess. I don't give a <laughs> shit. Just like I don't care about half the people that died during that fight or Doomsday killed. I don't care that Superman died. You don't care about the characters because you never no. build a rapport with any of them. No. And Lex Luthor was dog shit. That like was terrible. It, it was a bad movie, but that's enough of that. <laughs> I'm depressed now. That was a bad movie. Hey, man, that happens. It's terrible. And, you know, like, I'm not trying to suck Marvel's dick either. Like, Marvel's constant no, was, dog was, shit that's stuff, No, that's just too. what I was going to say. They, they do the same thing. Like, besides Ant-Man being a very beautiful movie, um, CGI-wise. You're the only one who says that's bad. It's not that good of a movie. You're the only one in the world who says that's it's, bad. It's, it's essentially... Everybody constantly puts that movie in the top five of Marvel movies. No, I don't agree. You know why, you know why I don't agree? Because people hate Sandman, but it's essentially the story of Sandman. He's fucking stealing shit so he can earn back his daughter. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, a story it of Sandman, but yet when it's a fucking Ant Man, everybody roots for Ant Man. But when it's Sandman, no, throw that motherfucker in jail. So you're saying Spider-Man. reverse racism? Yeah, yeah, I am saying that. What is Sandman? Middle Eastern? <laughs> no. Like, oh, that was racist. <laughs> I see what you did there. I just got that now. Damn. No, but what is he? Is he white? He's a white dude. Oh, I don't remember. I have to rewatch the Spider Man cartoon, but. I just I think this I think it's 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 a it's a cool movie because of what they do with it with, with his abilities and and the stuff they show you and the way they incorporate the ant like I felt bad when they killed Anthony mm-hmm. but um the 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 inclusion of TI and and the Mexican dude just kind of threw me off like I thought that was unnecessary because they the Marvel feels like they need that comic relief um TI was a horrible actor in that movie 
Uh, I don't think that was a good movie. The way I looked at it was, at least he's not making songs anymore. <laughs> I suppose. Um, I just I don't think that's Marvel's best movies, and that's not to say Thor wasn't was the best either. Those weren't great movies, but I actually had a good time with Thor. I I you know what I liked Both about Thors? huh? Both Thors. Uh, I have to rewatch them to tell you that. But you know what I did like about the Thor movies was like when they included you in Asgard. Like I liked seeing Asgard yeah. and seeing how that culture was and and the bridge and and the, and then oh when that fucking dude that looks like an elite what's his name the guy that can see everything oh uh, Heimdall he he looks like an elite to me he like does from, look like, from like Halo when he when the ship comes in he just starts jumping on it yeah. doing all kinds of crazy shit I was like damn that guy is legit as fuck yeah he's he's cool Heimdall I like I like the second one people are like oh it was stupid like dude it's a what Thor I don't movie. like that you Marvel to, has... You what, need to, like, take it. Yeah. I, as I, it is. I don't like that Marvel has done this stuff where, like, all these random things are the Infinity Stones. I yeah. don't like that. Like, that red yeah. goo thing is, like, the one of the stones. Reality stone. Yeah, like, everybody's saying that the Eye of Agamotto is going to be one of the yeah. two time stone or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how are you going to take that away from him? That's, like, his thing. That's, like, the thing that almost powers him kind of thing. I think he can be without it. Can I he? think he can, but the thing is, like, that's what makes him such a good fucking powerful wizard, right? Yeah, can't wait like, for that movie. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be. That looks like it's gonna be like Inception with magic. Everybody keeps saying that. I'm like, uh, well, you know uh, why they keep saying that is that that folding world shit is literally an Inception. I um, probably was doing that before, but in comic form. Uh, I disagree, but we'd have to they just check. they just re, they just bought the engine. They just bought yeah, the engine bought from the like engine. yeah. That's but um, I, mean. I think that's gonna be a good movie. I think it's gonna be a good, beautiful movie. I think that's the thing about Marvel. They even have the 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 CGI down where it's you. It's hard to peg it. Like it's hard to be like, man, that lighting is off. But no, it's it's good. It's quite. Some good. people were saying that during Civil War. I haven't seen that one, and that's another reason why I'm like I'm not like a DC or Marvel like dick sucker here. Like I haven't seen Civil War. I have yet to see it. I'll see it when it comes out on DVD, I suppose. I'm just not like, I wasn't sold on it. Speaking of, we, me and my sister went to uh, the mall earlier, the Disney store. First thing, she found the little Electra uh, figure figure that she was looking for. So she's like, oh, I'm going to buy this. And then she found the shirt, randomly Marvel shirt, because she's Marvel fangirl. Of DC owns Marvel? No, Marvel. Or Disney. Disney owns Marvel? Yeah. They own Marvel? Yeah. You didn't know that? Maybe I'm just tired. Might be. Yeah, they I uh, own them. I'm owning Marvel. Yeah, they own it. They bought Marvel from, from Marvel? Mm-hmm. Is that when Stan Lee just was like, I'm done with this? Yeah, he doesn't own that much. He d- owns nothing of it. Really? Mm-hmm. They didn't keep any shares, huh? No. Nope. Especially now that they're making that paper. DC is, man, making money. They got, they got. I mean, not DC. Disney has uh, Marvel and they Star have Wars. And Star Wars. They're going to put a monopoly on movies they, pretty they soon. Are, here. They are making paper. Paper. Wow. So anyways, you're saying she's buying some stuff? Oh, and she bought that. And so uh, it's getting really crowded in there, as Disney stores do on Saturdays, apparently. And so I'm like, I'll wait for you outside. I waited for outside for like 15 minutes. Why? Because apparently the person in front of her ordered, pre-ordered like Civil War, because you can do that because it's a Disney store. And like Beauty and the Beast, and I thought like Disney still holds those in lock. Like yeah, apparently they're re they're re releasing Beauty and the Beast. Oh, okay. Which I figured something was up because they got a ton of Beauty and the Beast stuff, and I was like, I was like, what took you so long? She's like, oh, fucking people took forever. She's like, this lady in front of me spent like two hundred sixty dollars at the Disney store. Whoa. I was like, two hundred sixty. She's like, yeah, two hundred sixty, and that's with the coupon she had. I was like. That's crazy, man. Damn. That's a ton. But yeah, that was just a random side effect. I thought about that. Because I think Civil War's coming out it's pretty soon. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Uh, I'll, I'll watch Civil War when it comes out. But I'm not like running to go see it. You know what I mean? Like to me, it's just like, all right. it's 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 It seems like a watered down version of the comic book. Yeah, it's way watered down. It fits with, with in their universe. It's not going to be comic stuff. But hey, can't do everything, right? Yeah, I guess. I just, I think, you know, I, I hope that, that some people are really going back and re-watch, or rereading those comic books because I think some of those stories are really epic. Like like the, uh, 
the Infinity Stone story is so good if you go back and rewatch reread the comic books. And it's a hundred percent different than it is in in the in the movies. And that it's so well written that man, it's just like, dude, back in the day those guys would spend time on those comic books. Now it's like the movies make it seem like they're just simply written, like some dude decided to get up and talk about shit. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah, that's how that's how it goes. Oh, you know, another thing I should say. Normally we get a uh, coffee before our our podcast. Yeah, I feel here. like it's gonna kick in after like we're done with this podcast. It might. I feel like it normally kicks in already. It didn't. Well, we usually get the other coffee. Yeah, we normally go to our place that's not sponsored by, but we're trying to get sponsored. We need to by talk to somebody over there. Colados. So Starbucks usually gets me up and going, but I don't know, man. You know, I'm just too depressed from the Nate Diaz yeah, we, Connor fight. We normally go to Colados, but we were watching the fight, so they closed already. So we didn't get to see Jose. I think his name is Jose. He looks like a Jose. I thought you said we didn't get to see Jose today. I was like, damn. No, we didn't get to see Jose today either. <laughs> his name's Jose. I think his name's I'm Jose. I'm dry as a mug out here. <laughs> Did, they, they, they don't have name tags there, do they? No. I just know girl with a fat ass, Jose. Oh, <laughs> Is that what you call her? You're like, hey, girl with a fat ass. I need my normal. I need my... I need that norm. I need that, that pre-podcast coffee. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know what I like. like girl with a fat ass. <laughs> 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 I like how you talk to women all misogynistic. Like, Hey, man. They like it, right? They, they like, like it. it. They like That's the attention. Like. I'm also like, hey, I got no job and I'm on welfare. They're like, oh. They're like, oh, man, this is great. <laughs> like that's how Kanye got Kim, right? He was yeah. like, hey, girl with the fat ass. Get hey, over here. girl with the fat ass. Come <laughs> here. You into dick? Oh, jeez. Dick and dick-like products. <laughs> oh, you know I am. You must have saw my video. Oh, jeez. Well, if you're uh, interested in hitting up Ruben's DMs, that's really you're willing to expect. Hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> at underscore wait what is it you got you changed your username on instagram and i'm like dude i'm not on gonna instagram, remember that shit that dude ruben Double yeah but zero. it's like that underscore dude ruben or some shit what the hell is the underscore it's that line you I have on the gay, bottom homie dude know that. i'm gonna look you up right now i'm gonna tell you exactly what your your gay username is hold on and i don't mean gay in uh in a in a uh hold on i can't type it in freaking right at the same time there it is this is your username. And I don't mean gay as in derogatory term. I mean, I mean as, in, as a homosexual, oh. straight homosexual. <laughs> Here, your username is that underscore dude underscore Ruben zero zero. Yeah. What is this shit? Because you can't put that dude Ruben apparently because that was taken or I don't know what. I don't know why you didn't do you that. You have the most cryptic username ever. Because I, the, I worst, wanted... the only thing worse than yours I've seen is this funny account that's like... Three point two zero 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 four five nine two three two two one four. That's the Illuminati confirmer. And I'm just kind of like, how are people going to find your account with all those digits, random digits? I'm gonna, I'm gonna send them a. I'm like, you're better off putting your the Fibonacci sequence as your username. <laughs> Some people might guess that one. <laughs> it's because I, I, I don't the like Pythagorean putting... theorem and shit. You're like, there you go. <laughs> Fucking pie. <laughs> <laughs> 3.146 I don't know what it is after uh, that. No, it's cuz I wanted I wanted to change it from the old one which was Strike Back Games but I I'm, I'm not really doing so that. So I guess anymore. I'll put you on blast right now. Are you ever going to do anything with your YouTube channel? <laughs> no. Are you done with it? You're yep. done done? Yep. Really? Pretty much. Why? Just 400,000 views. Don't want to brag. <laughs> Dude, you gotta. I'm telling you, man, you gotta get back, hey, get man. those old videos, throw clips on Instagram. Hey, man, you know, once you hit 400,000 views, you, you know, just gotta quit, right? You just gotta quit. While you're get ahead. Out. It's just like when you pull out and your Uber's waiting for you. You just gotta get going, man. Jeez. I guess, man. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I do something I've with been it. Saying I don't, for like I don't a year, feel man. It. I don't think you've uploaded anything in like. You haven't uploaded anything in like at least four or five months. It's been a while. I think the last thing I did was like in February. No, that's probably in like December. I don't know. Somewhere around there. I'll tell you. I'll tell you when the last video you uploaded. Go ahead. Keep, keep, keep talking. Yeah, no. I, just, I don't know. I don't feel like doing it. It's just like, uh, you know, maybe if I got a new computer, which you can go to my GoFundMe page. 
Get that broke ass Ruben a new computer. <laughs> get, get that broke ass Ruben a new computer. Uh, if you fund me there, then I'll get a new computer. Maybe I'll do something. He's got to get a more regular schedule, man. We got to the point where we were like putting one one video out a week at least, right? I was doing pretty good for uploads for a while. I'm like, Daniel, subscribe from your channel. <laughs> No, you're savage. you're just the last one on my thing because that's the last time you uploaded anything. What was the last video? Was the Halo video? Oh no, the last thing you uploaded was three months ago. That's surprising. I thought it was way further out. Who is it? That wasn't me. That was you, dog. It was. Any guesses? Halo video. You had Civil War spoilers. Oh, uh, that's me and my sister. Yeah, thirty minute video too. At least some of those came true, right? All of them were true, hundred percent. What was the views on that? Like two? Thirty. Wow, 30, that's yeah. decent. See? And then you had a... Uh, Halo video. Halo videos. Your unboxing for the Marvel Coast got, got a good amount of views. Dude, the Flash... Your Flash recaps get a boatload of views. Yeah. So season, do your... Yeah, your Flash reviews get pretty good. I would have continued with that, but season two was whack. You got to go back to it, man. You got to do like... Uh, we'll that try one, season three. You got to do those uh, like those comic book guys do where they do like reviews of every show afterwards. Well, now that I know my sister's into it, we'll, we'll see if I can get her to do you it. Gotta, you got to hit it up every time. Like literally the night of after you get done watching yeah, no, it. Throw I, like a, get like a quick five minute video and throw it up. Just like a quick five, ten minute video. Just condense down and then get it up. Yeah, we can probably do it. I don't know. We'll see. But the problem is that we got to get you a computer and then we got to get you the software editing because you got to get... The only way you get better at editing is you just got to do it more often so you're faster That's what I'm at telling it. you. If you guys go to GoFundMe page, get that broadcast group in a computer. You got, get it. I'm not, I'm looking for something big. I just need something like $800 worth. Yeah, I ain't you're, greedy. You're, uh, yeah, you get a lot of views on those, those <clears> TV show reviews. Maybe you should uh, mention the Minecraft videos with all them views. <clears throat> I'd have to go back, man. I don't think I can go back 14 years on this app. Damn. Just saying, man. Those are old as shit. You got. I'm telling you, man. You gotta well, stop being about were, that those bullshit. Those when the when the game came out from the 360. You gotta stop being about that bullshit. And you gotta take our funny clips and just throw them into like funny little clips. I'm do Asperger. Remember Asperger? Asperger was hilarious. I talked to uh, Splinter Cell about that the other day. And he was like, I agree, still, with all those Dude, things you said. You got Flash episode 15 has 678 views. Yeah, yeah, it does. And some of our, uh, some of our other stuff that's like playthroughs are just dead. Dude, Arcade NFL Blitz, 1592 minutes, 65 views. That was a lot of fun. I owned you on NFL oh, Blitz. Oh, man, we should go do that. We should. We should go back to uh, Cast and Coasters. We haven't gone in a while. Shit, I ain't, I ain't got nothing else to do. They're not open right now, are they? I think they close at 12. By the time we get there, you I'm know, our, our uh, UFC prediction videos actually do pretty well. Yeah, we should get back to doing those, but I can't really do them now that it's fake. So, what else is on there? A lot of playthroughs. I mean, the playthroughs get decent views, but not like worthwhile. But I mean, I think at some point you just got to get up and just put up content, man. Not a lot of content up here. I mean, in some of the older ones, you'll get some, some comic book reviews, you get some decent views. Uh, I don't got the patience to do that anymore. Dude, we did Weidman versus Machida predictions. Yeah, I was like, Weidman's going to spinning kick him. 258 views on that. 258? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We could get back 258? Yeah. Yeah. You heard me right. Did I stutter? Did I stutter? I did not. Dude. I have to do that again. Your strike back weekly is getting a good 34, 50. Yeah, no, those, were, those were so long ago. Yeah, well, I'm going back two years, dog. You want me to get into the big views? I'm trying to go into it. Gustafson versus Jones. How many views do you think? 500. Not that much. 319. What? This is insane. All right, we got to do those. Every time we're done circle jerking each other <laughs> and doing this podcast, we're going to do that. All right, Weidman versus Silva. How many views? 500. 526. Oh. Uh. Dang. Dude, remember that perspective game? Mm -hmm. That was fun. That was a good game. That was a good one. For a free game, that was worthwhile. I'd pay a dollar for that game at least. Dishonored, no love on my Dishonored playthrough. Dude, that's a very hard game to watch because I played through the whole thing. Uh Uh-huh. And it's a good game. It's a really good game. We got to go back to GameStop and get those Bethesda things just so I can get those. Darkstalkers Resurrection gameplay it's like averaging 50 views per video 
What? Yeah. I like how people are probably bored out of their minds right now listening to us. What else are you doing? You're working. Sit there and enjoy it. Uh, my uh, MK versus DC Universe. That's Luke like Kang. Five hundred. A thousand views on this one. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I don't want to brag. Uh, yeah, the Joker won 5,000. Ah, uh, 400,000 views. <laughs> yeah, but you got to keep putting out content because it's not like you're increasing subscribers. Well, they, uh, that's wrong. You I are? I am. Actually, interestingly enough, as much as I busted my ass on motivated results, I, uh, I, I'm getting more subscribers now that I'm not putting up content mm-hmm. versus when I was. Oh, snap, son. You guys want some throwback shit. Dude, we got two thumbs down on this. How dare you? What is it? The How Sneaky Pete dare one? you? Yeah, that's exactly it. You guys need to go search. It came from Craigslist, the Sneaky Peep machine. That's a hilarious ass one. And we got two thumbs down and one thumb up. What is wrong with people? And then, what, oh, dude, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't care. I'm going to release any You Audi. need to release any I'm going to release any Audi. I don't care. Why have you been holding off on any Audi? I had I had a few fucks to give. I was holding on to them. I don't have them now. Why do you care? Who's gonna see them? You're you're you see you're afraid of Doctor Strange seeing them. He can use the I have Agamemno to turn back time if he doesn't like it. Dude, my three sixty hard drive of eight fifty thousand views. Final answer. Actually, it might be sixty now. You might have looked at my phone. It is 61,000 views. Yeah, I look at the analytics sometimes. 61,000 views for my hard drive upgrade? Yeah. With a thumbs up and thumbs down, though. Being greedy about this. <gasps> oh, you guys might have seen that audio. Dang, I've never gotten this many views and or thumbs up and down on any of my videos on my channel. Guess what the thumbs up and thumbs downs are? It's uh, I think last time I checked, it's like 300 thumbs up and like... A hundred thumbs down. No, no, no. You're you're too high and too low. Or too high and too high on both. Two twenty eight thumbs up oh, and twenty eight thumbs down. Oh, that's close. That's crazy. A whole bunch of comments too. Yeah, I, I replied to all of them. I was just telling people random shit. I'm like, yeah, no. Screw yeah, that it works. Tighter. It's not gonna blow up your Xbox at all. <laughs> screw it in tighter. You're like, if you can force two hard drives in there. Put your hand in there until you feel something loosely. If that don't fit, put your dick in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy how many views that got i wasn't expecting that many views man my my uh dark siders 2 walkthrough <sighs> yeah i think your your video on that is the highest one i don't think my other one my minecraft ones have that much the ending boss the av- oh man i missed that game i'm up i'm about to throw that game back on and play that game again for the third time what double dragon double dragon neo is hilarious I haven't gotten to that yet. Maybe I passed it. I don't know, man. All I know is that there's some good videos on here. You need to go back to some of the uh, videos where we're just discussing things. And any Audi is a perfect one. You need to release any Audi. I just wonder if they, if you release it now because we uploaded it what four years ago, whether or not it'll come up on people's feeds or it'll or it'll just not. It should because I released it. Yeah, but you released it and then and then put it private. So I don't think if you release it again, it'll pop back up. I didn't ever put it. Uh, I didn't release it. I it's always been private. Oh really? I uploaded it private because I was listening to it. and I was like, can't talk about this. Jesus. I gotta I gotta listen to it. I don't remember how I brought it up. Don't don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. I, I know exactly. I can tell you the conversation. Release it. And I'll re-listen to it. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'll leave you here. This is about an hour. I like to keep these in about an hour so that you have a chance to go listen to some legitimate podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey man this is a slow week i mean we can talk about other shit i did we'll have to uh we'll have to do another one we'll do another one next week i it, once again i don't know how many of you guys listen to this it's, it's at least four of you so if you listen to this post down below let us know what you guys want us to talk about you know we'll, we'll get the topics yeah if you want just this week because watch the ufc so we don't we don't really have any topic. We're so I took depressed up, so depressed about it took UFC. up about three hours of our time that i can't and get my back energy ever. I have no energy. No, I really don't. So shout out to Colados for not making us coffee this week. Jose probably thinks we died. No kidding. He's like, oh, girl you guys are alive. Girl with the fat ass probably <laughs> thinks we left. <laughs> I dare you to go in there and be like, hey, girl with the fat ass, how you doing? Just, you can't. You can't say it like that. I dare you. You can't just, be vulgar. That how are you? How are you gonna approach her? I'm like, hey, girl, fat ass, what's up? <laughs> You're just gonna be like, hey, girl, the fat ass. How no, are you doing? No, you gotta be. Calm about it. 
Can't be like, yo, sup, girl with a fat ass. Yo, ma. What up? Ma with a fat ass. Holla at this boy. No, you'll be like, what's up, girl with a fat ass? What you doing? Bought some of this. I'm Foo I'm- Young in you. <laughs> you ever try these hard ropes on you before? <laughs> oh, jeez. People are going to be like, what is he talking about? I'm telling you, man. I, I'm willing to record it if you go in there and you just go like, hey, girl with a fat ass, how you doing? I'm willing to pay for your drinks for the next four podcasts. <laughs> but you got to tell her dead eyes straight in the eye. Like, what up? Go with the fat ass. How you doing? I kind of see which one she is. I don't know what she looks like. I just see her ass. He's got to make sure she's legal because it's going to be fucked up. Yeah, if I she's know. Underage and you're it's like, like that other place hey, go we go. Fat ass. It's like that other place we go to with uh, where we normally watch UFC fights. Got them young ass girls that we think might be eighteen, but I'm not real sure. Cause they look a little young. Yeah, but it's a bar, so they have to be eighteen. That's what I'm telling myself in my head when they're there. At least I I think that's what it is. And uh, I'm gonna not say anything at all during this con- this segment. Hey man, just saying. That's what I'm thinking about. I guess. All right, yeah. Shout out to Colados for not giving us coffee. We'll be back with them next week. Yeah, and uh, uh, go watch the Indie Audi video. And if Ruben yeah. hasn't released it, you go to social he, media that underscore dude Ruben zero zero or something along those lines, and you. Uh, and you tell him he's about that bullshit. I'll release it on, on Monday with it. Is this when this releases? I don't listen to this because I can't stand my voice. I can't. Dude, I can't stand my voice more than you can't yours. But Mine's I do it so anyways. Deep. It's so like this do it, I do it anyways for quality purposes. That's right. It's that underscore dude underscore Ruben zero zero. Yeah. So go check out any Audi video. Yeah. Leave us a comment. Hit a like or, or whatever. I just need to know what you guys want us to talk about. Uh, whether Whatever topics. I didn't want to do another podcast that had to do with cars again because... It's been like three weeks in a row oh, now. What are the views with the other one? Yeah, same as always. Mm. But I'll, I'll look. I'll look at it again. All right, shout out to those people. Also, shout out to Busky. I'm gonna send you your your uh, don't make promises you can't keep. Package this week, maybe, maybe. I'm like I'm like seventy five percent sure Busky is coming this week. Anyways, all right, ladies. Hey, and I'm just telling you, he watch. He listens only. I guess. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget, I have links for everything down below where you can download this in an audio format. Feel free to drop a like or, or say what's up just so we know you're listening and know what you want out us to put out again. So, all right, any last words, dude? Uh, see you soon, girl with the fat ass. <laughs>